Okay, this is probably a lesson in static routing. So <clears throat> let me describe this network here. We have a router at a headquarters location. It has an Ethernet-like connection to a co-location facility over Metro Ethernet using the 10.100.8.0.30 uh, route. There is a firewall. I can't uh, really emulate the firewall, so I put another router up here. It has two interfaces. It has 100.1.1.42 and 100.1.10.42. So this uh, firewall currently only knows about this network and this network. These routers, however, have route tables um, that solve all of its normal requirements. So what's interesting about this is that the uh, default route here is out the Metro interface, the 10108. The next top router is 1 over here. Likewise, on this side, you've got uh, a similar uh, configuration, but it's not written as a default route. It's written as a, a static route for each of the possible networks on the headquarters side. So for example, if you want to get to the 192.168.0.0 network, go to your next hop router, which is 8.2 here. And so on for the 3 network, the 5 network, and the 10 network. Um, what we've done here, since we, we can't run IPSLA uh, in our simulator here, but it doesn't matter, uh, I've set up a secondary route through this interface and I have given it a metric of 10. So what's going to happen, the router is going to pick this uh, default route here anyway, and it'll only use the 10 if this is unavailable. What's interesting is that the uh, default route for all other networks is uh, .130 in this subnet here, which uh, I've represented by a PC just so we can ping it, but that's how you get to the internet. So people over here that um, uh, have an internet request that want to go to google.com that is actually going out the default route here uh, comes in here and seeks a default route which is the 130 which sends them off to the internet so um, it's an interesting routing table and it works so what we want to do here is get into this PC here and let's ping the internet here so we can do that quickly bring up a, a command prompt and uh, let's verify our configuration. We're um, dot, we're one, I just want to say zero dot 25. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say ping, uh, ping my default gateway. So I can clearly ping this router here. Now I'm going to try and uh, ping this router here, which is um, 10.100.8.1. And you can see I can get there. So I should be able now to get to 10.100.8.130, which is the internet, right? Okay, and as you can see, we can get there. And since I can ping in that direction, it's safe to assume we can ping back since uh, uh, ping is an ICMP echo command. And if there were no route back here to this PC, we would not be able to ping in e that direction. Okay, so what? Here, here, here's, here's my theory. Okay, so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take this link down. And um, if my theory is correct, since this router here, if you look at it and you say show IP route, you'll find it only knows about two networks. And I believe that the current sonic wall configuration, this is the problem we're having. It only knows about these two it knows about this, it knows about this, but it does not know about this, and it does not know about this. So here's how I'm going to 
kind of demonstrate that. I'm going to go into this router here. We're going to say uh, config t. We're going to go into the interface uh, fast ethernet 0.0, .0 and we're going to shut it down. Okay, so as you can see that interface is now down. So if I try to ping ping 10.100.8.130 uh, we're going to find out that it's unreachable. Okay, now <clears throat> IPSLA would make it kick in, but my metrics make this route kick in. The issue is because it has a default route here that says if this route is down, use this metric to determine this is your next top router. The problem is this router doesn't know about the other routes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I've, I've created the routes that the sonic wall needs to know about in order for it to work. And so I'm going to go ahead, copy this here, just so we can type fast. And I'm going to go into this router here, get the configuration mode. And I'm going to add those routes, right? So I'm just going to paste them in here. So now this router knows how to get um, to these different locations. So if I go back in here now and I say uh, ping 10.100.8.130, uh, you'll see that we have a 100% success rate. And that's because the traffic has picked this metric. It's now gone through this path. This router now has a knowledge of all of these uh, networks on both sides. So I believe that though there might be, uh, 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 we found at least one error here. These are the IP routes that work. This is an exact replica of the real situation. It's my belief that this firewall here does not have the required routes to know about these two networks. So uh, um, end of story. Let's talk more.